Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Vivian Kenya. In case you're new here, welcome and welcome again. In case I can't subscribe, I know what we do this. Uh, so today, today in my channel, I have a guest. Hey guys, my name is Lovin Knight and I'm, I'm Vivian. Yes. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so today, guys, we have a very, very, very crazy topic. Mm -hmm. huh. Can you tell them the topic? The craziest thing you've ever done for love. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so let's start with you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I start the craziest, the craziest. Mm -hmm. Where do I start from? Guy. Mm -hmm. There are many. Okay. While I was in primary, mm -hmm. uh, they're class seven. By the time I started falling in love while I was in class seven. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, mm -hmm. I was dating this boy. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. First <laughs> love. No offense. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. yeah, and we used to have a show. Mm -hmm. So, I used to go and steal credit. <laughs> Guys, no, you're doing it. that. He used to steal credit. She mm -hmm. used to steal, to, uh, I mean, she used to steal credit. Why are you emphasizing? <laughs> Why did you still let me give you your, your boyfriend? No, mm -hmm. we are not judging. Okay. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I used to steal credit and take it to my bedroom. But sometimes I don't steal and even when you say yeah, credit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the funny thing mm -hmm. is that the credit that I was sending to mm -hmm. him, mm -hmm. he was sending now to the men. <laughs> <laughs> Now he was sending that credit to the blue chick. Hey, Siko Nandi could have been to a phone call. Anyway, the end of the work it up. So, guys, uh, I was in the top, I think I was in class. Even me, I fall in love when I was class in three. class three. No, class seven. <laughs> Come on. Uh -huh. So, there is uh, there's one boy. Gosh, he used to love me so much. So he would uh he would leave some some letters in the you see the exercise books. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I told him uh I, I want us this relation relationship to be like to be uh to keep it low. So he used to come in my bag, then mm -hmm. he used to take that exercise book and then he, he used to put the love letter there. So that when I go home I can go and hide myself so that I can leave love. <laughs> Love let <laughs> Imagine. Oh, yes. So hey, I'm telling you when I was in primary school, I was hot cake. That is and first love. Yourself? Yeah, I know. <laughs> then my second love, mm -hmm. huh? I used to come to a village, you know. Yeah, yeah. We used to okay in their home they used to have a shop, so uh -huh. we used to carry to carry some sweets, you know. Mm -hmm. So I remember one day he, he came and touched me one of my breasts, <laughs> and he was like, "Vivian, I will give you sweet, and me, I will, I will touch one of the one of your breasts." And I was like, "It's okay, as long as you give me tropicals and biscuits, I'm good. I'm good to go, you know." <laughs> Where is that you in class? I was in class seven. Hey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like, so it used to come every Friday, you know, mm -hmm. every Friday, Friday and Sunday. Yeah. So we used to meet somewhere, hmm? somewhere. So you'd come, you know, at that time, oh, there were phones, you. Mm -hmm. So, by that time, I was not having a phone. So yeah. you, you'd come to, you'd pass by our gate and he's, he, he was whistling. <laughs> Fast. <laughs> when he whistled, guys, they just knew like, is my boyfriend when he, he was that loud yes he was so loud yeah. even one day i remember my aunt by the way my last my last born uh sister to mom mm -hmm. he went to confront him by the way uh -huh. yes he, she told them let me don't you see me here again because i'm going to beat you like nonsense because believe my aunt she came and uh and know that there's something weird going on okay yes Mm -hmm. okay. So after that, I went to I went 
he step on the school. Yeah. So you know, like you know, like you know, I like being dears, you know. So I was a girl. I I, I mostly participated in music festival, music festival, yeah. yeah, in drama, you know. So and fun kids. So you know, yeah. Huh? I like fun kids going going out meeting with those boys, eh? <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. So uh-huh. we had okay. My my secondary school we are we are not mixed. We are just alone, but we had a brother school. Mm. So my first time to go for a fun thing, I was uh, in form one. <laughs> um, I went and met a boyfriend. He was short and he was very brown, you know. Mm-hmm. And he was like, "Hey, Christian, hi, how are you? You know what? I'm just a small bit too. And I was like, "Ah, uh, me, I'm just a mono. So how can you be in love with me? How? How now? So this boy." I was uh she was he was my friend he was he was my be- he was huh? he was your best friend no your boyfriend no he was having uh he was having there's, there's, no there's this one friend of mine mm-hmm. from our place mm-hmm. so I like he was uh he was his friend have mm-hmm. you understood mm-hmm. yeah so so yet all the connections you know mm-hmm. so we went I I don't know how I fell love you know used to send flowers uh those are uh, sweet sweet letters you know yeah. so one day what? we went for a for a music festival in his school mm-hmm. you know what guys he told me now uh, we have to go to the laboratory <laughs> guys yes we went for the <laughs> yes we went to the laboratory guys <laughs> and the boy was like, "Hey, Vivian, I can, I can just feel like kissing you, you know." You understand, guys? So it was in the first term, and we were not being given. Uh, no, it was on second term. Yeah. And we were not yet gone for a mid term. So like, you know, like when I, I entered in the secondary school, like I was not having a boyfriend, so I needed someone to sit to me and to touch me. You know? So what is the craziest thing you did? The craziest thing I did that you know I kissed him in the lab in the laboratory. Wow! Okay, about my secondary school. Mm-hmm. Okay, while I was in secondary, mm-hmm. okay, my boyfriend, my ex, now he's my ex. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was a head of me. Mm-hmm. Now I was in form four, mm-hmm. and he was at home because they were waiting to join the campus. Mm-hmm. So I decided to fake that I'm sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, no. <laughs> to act by that, see? Mm-hmm. So I just cried all night. Mm-hmm. And you know, yeah, my dad was a PTA in our school. Mm-hmm. So I think the deputy mm-hmm. and the principal mm-hmm. were best, like, one one and my dad. Mm-hmm. So it was very easy for me, even at the school, when I think, oh, I'm feeling sick, what, mm-hmm. what, they just call my dad and my dad said, okay, allow mm-hmm. my daughter to come, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. I expect that I was sick. Oh gosh. <laughs> and I cried all night, I cried in the morning, you know, to heck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I was just going to see my boyfriend. <laughs> so when I reached home, mm-hmm. I... I was yeah when I reached home that time I had a call in a team yeah so my dad asked me okay you have to go back to school on Monday yeah mm-hmm. I went on Friday mm-hmm. so let's go on Saturday you remove the that that thing mm-hmm. so you people even it was not raining it was not doing anything I had to remove it I have <laughs> oh gosh I have a mark here yeah yeah I don't have able touch. Guys, she has a mark. Yeah, so I had to go and remove that thing. Mm-hmm. What are we doing? So <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Mm-hmm. I had to go and remove that thing mm-hmm. because because of my boyfriend. It was not taken, so I had I had to go to pass through that thing, that scaffold, just to see my boyfriend. I think he did a crazy thing for love, guys. How can you remove a thing? Because oh, of your boyfriend. Now. Up to now, I don't know how to She doesn't have a team. Man, she doesn't have a team. Wow. Hey, 
Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. So, mm -hmm. so from there, oh God, what other that crazy? Okay. So, the other day? Huh. after from so, <laughs> mm -hmm. no, after college now. Mm -hmm. after. What about during the period in college? <laughs> so, guys, uh, in college, okay. Yeah. So guys, we are okay. So I took my my course in Mombasa, mm -hmm. and we were in a, a college for paramilitary national eh? national technical service something college. So you know, there there is a lot of discipline, you know. Mm -hmm. sure. So like it was crazy, you know, it was crazy. Mm -hmm. But it is not like in in paramilitary training, no. Mm -hmm. So I have this boy of mine, my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. In the same, same college, yeah, the same class. We are taking the same course. <laughs> so you used to happened? used to sit on my back, babe. No, you used to sit in front of me. Yeah. So one day, hmm. so I don't know how to call it in English. Pukatawaya, like kutoroka mm -hmm. within the fence. So okay, when we are going, for, we were. I don't know. Where did we go? We go. Where did we go? Guys? Oh, we went to the beach. Yeah, we went to the beach. So and you know that time. Okay, when we are going, like when we are given permission, mm -hmm. we are given from uh, from Saturday to Sunday or from Friday to to Sunday. Then you you are free. You can go anywhere you feel like. Mm -hmm. So like I don't know like. So my boyfriend told me, "Hey, tomorrow we have to go to the to the beach." Hey. <laughs> and I was like, "Ha, to the beach? Mm -hmm. All right, okay." So we moved out of the gate, <laughs> and we are like, "Uh, Vivian, so what are we going to tell the uh, the security officers of the time? Where are you going?" And I, I told him that I'm going to buy I'm going to buy some fruits. Yeah. But he doesn't know, or he doesn't know that I'm getting out of the gate, and I'm not going to return today. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunate, uh, my boyfriend, I don't know what happened. He was one of the in charges in the college, so he was called back. Mm -hmm. So, it was, I don't know, it was uh, at 9 p.m. in the night, at night, you know. Mm -hmm. So, there was a big fence, a, bi a very big fence. It was so long. So guys, I had to climb that fence because I couldn't. I couldn't pass the gate, you know. Like yeah. I could have known that where I, where I think I'm from at this night. So guys, I had to climb a very 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 long fence. Huh? So that at least I can go and maybe I say I'm from I'm from class. But yeah. where where did we go? Only God knows where. <laughs> <laughs> For, you know, <laughs> What did you do in college? Oh God, first play. <laughs> <laughs> what mm -hmm. in college? Let's say craziest thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my my boyfriend was sick, mm -hmm. and he was having a stomach ache. Mm -hmm. So that pain, he could not manage to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And actually, have the dispensary in the in our campus. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I went. Mm -hmm. Hey, you people laugh. <laughs> I uh, had to pretend mm -hmm. that I'm sick, <laughs> mm -hmm. just to go and take for for him medicine. Cause you know he was having that pain. Mm -hmm. He could not walk. So I had to go and pretend to the dispenser I'm sick. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And funny thing, let me tell you. The university or school dispensary, you know, they are not that serious. Mm -hmm. I was given an injection. <laughs> really? Yeah, for real. They say we just have to take this because he was sick, stomach, and also the body. He was not feeling well, something like headache. Mm -hmm. And even they don't, they just write for you medicine and they mm -hmm. just inject you. That's, and then that thing I hate about this public, public hospital. Yeah, because yeah. when it was private, I think Mingenda Kupima for love, they know what's the problem. You people, hey, <laughs> I know the ones who be watching this video, I know some of you have done extraordinary things. Yeah, what? yes, even 
even worse for than you yeah, know. So I had to go. Mm-hmm. I was injected on his behalf, and even I would not speak. Oh my god! And we are not together. Hey, we do pass a lot. Kitu love. Nita kofi. Nita kofi nya finya. So then, what's another crazy thing have you ever done? Hmm. <laughs> so, I don't know what it's like. So, after college, or when I was. And if now from that duration, what the other thing you've done? Hmm. Guess what? So, after college, mm-hmm. so I got like. As, okay, I was looking for a job. So, I got a. A job for an hotel where I was a cashier. Uh-huh. So we had two shifts, uh, one week uh, daytime, one week nighttime. So during uh, on the night shift, like mm-hmm. there there were two couples, like they would they they were coming like late hours, like in three a.m. Mm-hmm. and they're so drunk, very 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 drunk. Oh, they're coming to sleep in that hotel. No, they're coming to eat, cause our our oh. first meal was for twenty four seven hours. So we're not closing. Yeah. So like they came like uh two weeks. Then I, I don't know what happened because like this boy fallen for me. Wait, the couple. Yeah, no, the couple. couple. Yeah. Okay. That's so crazy. this boy, this okay, this boy now started coming in my place so early. I thought that was eight eight p.m. Where you stay? No, in my hotel where I was working. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So one day I remember he came and he asked me, Wait, who is who is your girlfriend? And he told me, Tell me, my girlfriend, I broke up with her. Why? Because of you. How? Like, ah! you know, these are people who are used to come at 2 p.m., uh, uh, 3 a.m. in the morning, 4 a.m., they're so drunk. Like, eh? You're like, uh-huh. No, these people, surely. Mm-hmm. Like, they were, they were so. Yeah, I don't know how. So one day he came, he told me I want uh just order for me chips and chicken. Yeah. And I want kimba. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay. So first thing she gave me, okay, he came, he hit, then he gave me one thousand Kenya shillings. Who doesn't love money? I said I took the money. That, was, that is a tip. That was a tip. So I took the money. Oh. So from that day he used to come daily, 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 the other day he come and text you guys, what, what, what? So mm-hmm. <laughs> Guys, we, I don't know. I, I think I don't know. Like love is crazy because like you can do crazy things. You can do love. crazy things. Yeah. yeah. So do you know the guy used to come to my hotel when he's so sober, and it was like you know you know the girl used to we we were coming is the one who was not going to do drink that much. Like I can go for a whole week, even without going to to a job. Like mm-hmm. you would you would I would fake it, you know. You'd say that the job is very sick. You'd go to the hospital. Yeah. You can write a letter. You know, like mm-hmm. you know, they are crazy things. So to cut the story the short, shots. yeah. So one day, like, I called him the whole weekend. His phone was off, and I was like, "Gosh, how?" Then he was so he was so loving, he was so caring, you know. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. So. I was in, in the night shift, then I saw a message, I told calling you, and I was like, hey, I dealt with his number so fast. So I called him, hey, hi, hey, where, where are you? Uh, you know what, I'm with that, my girlfriend, hey, like we are taking cocaine. Okay, in short, mm-hmm. he was cheating with that damn friend. Imagine. Okay. <laughs> then you know what, guys, I called a sister. Mm-hmm. Like me, I was having the uh, sister's number, so I called the sister and told me, hey, come take my boy, because like, he told me that he's taking bang. It was bang, like, mm-hmm. so that is how it ended, you know, which is why, you know. Oh, so the craziest the thing, crazy thing was, mm-hmm. he was still loving me, okay, he came and he told me that, you know what, I love you both. You know, guys, I think like one week, like, he was telling me, you know, we will make muke moenza, like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I understand. You understand? So you just accept. <laughs> so no, I took that relationship. I took that relationship. Oh. Okay. And you? 
this guy is famous. I don't know if it's craziness mm-hmm. or it's too much love. Or, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I'm telling you, as girls, you have to. to uh, I know we have to kiss many frogs before we get the right person. Sure. The right person. But someone told me that there's not Mr. Right. I don't know. There's no Mr. Right. So actually, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, the craziest thing I've learned about sex. Mm-hmm. I think in college, mm-hmm. moving in and staying with my boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that is that crazy or people. I don't know. Yeah, it is. It is crazy, you know. I don't know. Even if it, it is a small, <gasps> eh, the small craziness you ever did for love, it is. It is. It is, it is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And you know the funny thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know my family will not think this is okay. <laughs> My family too. I'm so sorry. We are sorry, but mm-hmm. we have to do this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I move and stay with my ex. Okay, it is my ex right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it was crazy. How? And yet at home they know we are staying <laughs> with the arrow. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So guys, and hey. they also comment. Tell us what crazy thing have you ever done about love? Me, I think loving mm-hmm. at first I don't get it. Cause like, do you know I dated a con man and I don't know. Guy, you love me. <laughs> this true, guys. I don't know, like, con. okay, how? Okay, con man, how? You know, like, uh, we met online. Mm-hmm. And you said like, okay, like a, like a hole here. He was texting me, hi, how are you doing? Like, you know. Mm-hmm. So the second day, I was like, hey, no, we have to meet, you know. We have to meet, you know. Like, it is a whole here. We've just been chatting. Let's just meet face to face, you know. Mm-hmm. And the guy was so, eh, the guy was so handsome, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My cousin, Arit, I know you will be watching this video. Hmm? I came to your place and you asked me, why are you dating a white guy? Imagine, and he was just a Kenyan. Oh, a white, okay. a white guy, a white guy, white guy, white okay. man. A white I'm Zongo. I'm Zongo. But and he was, uh, he was an actress, you know. Okay. He was a um, Kikuyu, pure Kikuyu. Okay. I'm telling you, <coughs> I'm sorry. He was mm-hmm. so handsome. He was so brown. Mm-hmm. Gosh. Now, like, okay, he came, it was on a Sunday, he came in my place. So, he came in the, in the afternoon. Okay. He came back to his car, you know what? He came the house and you know, like he went and buy some sodas, you know, sat down. So my I think my coaches told me this man is not is not I know it's not a good person. It was yeah. like after one call and you know what there are ladies who are calling. After one call, you know, a call it was call after to, call. Call after call. Yeah. And they were different ladies. Hey. And I was like, hey. What is going on? No, you know, uh, I have a business in Dubai, you know, so like, I'm trying to do some business, so you never mind. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, you know, like, the guy is dressing so, eh? He is dressing so well, you know. Yeah. He has a car, you know. So, eh, so he confused me that, eh, it is all about a business matter, so I just fall in for it. Then? Then, hmm, guess what? What? He told me, mm-hmm. I want to open a business for you. Uh-huh. Okay? Mm-hmm. I said yes. So, the other day, okay, that night he went, he went back to his place. Then the next day he told me, now, I want you to send five, uh, five uh, okay, the, um, I'm less, I'm less five Kenya, five thousand Kenya shillings. So, right. So, you have to give me five, uh, five thousand Kenya shillings so that I can turn to your, to your business. And I was like, wow, okay. And don't forget that time, guys. I was not in. I, I was not having any job. Uh-huh. So I. You were jobless. Yes, I was jobless. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Do you know what? I have to take a loan. <laughs> <laughs> Guy, I took a loan, guys. What? I took a loan and mm-hmm. sent that money to that. You know, I can't tell you everything, but you know, yeah. it is live, you know, it is live. But anyway, craziest. Okay, craziest, crazy. I think that's crazy. I think only four. Ha. Huh. Now, this is a major one. This <laughs> is a major one. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. We have to sit. Eh? 
I'm just sitting comfortable guys because this one, hey, 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 So I guess this is the last one. Major. Major. Huh? Major, 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 major. So <laughs> Okay. So you know. I'll never forget. I know I know he's going to watch this video, but it's okay because he, he is one of my subscribers. Mm. But it is like you know, yeah, by the no hard like, feelings, no hard feelings, no daddy, no no daddy, no. And life has to continue. Sure. Mm. Mm-hmm. So we met with this guy. The thing is, it was it was so <laughs> loving, so caring. Mm-hmm. You know, like you know, used to call now and then, check checking up on you, taking care of you, you know, like hey. So I don't know. We never went for so long. So one day, uh, one day he told me that you know what to do here, like put this relationship down to a end of like why, like. Yeah, we yeah, we loved so, each other so much. Like we used to pray, you know, we were fasting. Even we had planned the the wedding here, the which uh, the, the you know we could do a wedding. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was crazy. So like we were to meet up with his father, like uh, you know. Mm-hmm. So the first day, I, I think his father was uh, busy. The second time, so the third time was like uh, my father, like you know those things of tribalism. You know? Yeah, my father is saying like I I can't marry from this tribe since so you his uncle. You married another woman from your place, and he was being crazy. You know those things. Mm. You know. So like I know I went to my house and I sat down. Mm-hmm. So I took my I turned my radio on and I took a number from Classic FM. Classic <laughs> FM. <laughs> so I took my phone. Okay. I dialed that number. I called Doctor Love Mazi in uh-huh. Classic FM. Okay. So, so you ever called Doctor Love? Yes, I ever called Doctor. Okay, Love. then what was the what so, were you calling him for? Hey, I I told him that um I I told him to me you know what Dr. Love I'm very confused I have this guy in mind mm-hmm. he loves me so much like yeah. we love each other so much but the problem is he's been controlled by his spirit you know so Dr. Love was like uh how how old is he he's over eighteen does he have a job yes <laughs> does he say hello yes so give me his number so I gave out his number Say yes yes. Okay, just okay. okay. <laughs> Actually, I just hear like people calling me to Doctor Love, but I've never met someone who's called. So you are the first. <laughs> so you people do exist. I man, I mean, when you love someone, you can do the craziest thing I ever. I, mean, I never loved like I, I love this man very, 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 yeah. very, very, very much. Mm-hmm. Used to, even up to today, guys, the guy also. He still loves me, baby. He still loves me. Yeah. He still mm-hmm. loves me. Mm-hmm. So he was like, uh, so so he has been controlled by his father. So what his father saying to Dr. Love, you know, like a uh, brother he married from okay, uh, 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 his brother married from our tribe. So yeah. like uh a wife killed okay the okay, the the guy told me that I don't know, it is like it was planned, you know. Yeah. So his wife was uh I don't know. I don't know if he planned with the thieves or the gangster, you know. Mm-hmm. So his brother, he was being shot. Now he is my he is angered to my man. So yeah. he was being killed. So I don't know how true it was, but you know. But let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. I think this thing of tribalism ends long time ago. Mm-hmm. Like in fact parents are not supposed to mingle mm-hmm. in their children relationship if you love someone from other another tribe mm-hmm. just let it be not that everyone is bad okay maybe no, exactly yeah like okay yeah. i think it's not good man okay so, even if it is a, a true even if it is a true story you mm-hmm. know people don't like uh like Ufana now, can you find it? Yeah, like we are not the same. We are not the, the same, same exactly. Personality that people bring. Mm-hmm. I think these people are missing out to analog people. Mm-hmm. Like you can get it. Hey, hey, you are a this tribe. I mm-hmm. hate these people because they usually eat people. Mm-hmm. Not all, not you know, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and like, I hate girls from this tribe because they usually behave this way. 
Mm-hmm. I think we just wonder, really? Mm-hmm. No. So, me, I think, like, if you are, okay, I'm not saying, I'm not talking about my ex, I'm just saying, like, if you are over 18, you're not supposed to be controlled by your parents, you know, like, especially you, when it comes to love. Yeah, when it comes to love, you know, like, like, you know, the, the, the guy, by the way, he was having a lot of stress with you. Because of his parents. You. Yeah. But, eh, parents yeah. was finger. <laughs> <laughs> so, I called Dr. Love and told me, give me his number. Hey. <laughs> I give out his number. Mm-hmm. Hello, hello. Am I talking to her? Huh? Yes. Do you know? So, do you know this person? Uh-huh. <laughs> do you love him? Yes, I do love her. Mm-hmm. He was like, okay. So you still love me? Mm-hmm. So he was going. So why you? Why are you being controlled by your parents? He was like, you know, it was a family issue. I can't. Uh, I can't. I can't talk to it on here. Uh huh. So what Doctor Love told him, mm-hmm. he was being told by Doctor Love, you know, like you're not supposed to be controlled by yeah, your sure. parent. You have got the right to say, you have got the right to start with this guy and say, you know what, I love this guy. Yeah. That period. But if you don't, you're not going to think it over. After two years, you're going to regret and you're going to remember me. What I told you that you're not supposed to be controlled by your parent. You have got the say. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let me ask about the boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the parents got complained about him as he old. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Days I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Okay, you people, if you put the comment there, let's know. Is it right the parents to mingle in a relationship, mm-hmm. or is it wrong? I think it's wrong. Very wrong. If the really? son bring a girl and says, I'm in love with this, they mm-hmm. know why they are in love. Mm-hmm. Don't say, no, mm-hmm. I want you to take this. That marriage won't last. By the way, I was with Moza. Hey, guys. Imagine we were supposed to be going wedding. We are, <laughs> <laughs> you know, this year we could be having a wedding. Imagine. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know, I don't know why it was the last time. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you are kind of even here, even Kenya. This year could be celebrating his wedding, but you know, God's plan is so yeah. You know, everything happens yeah, for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Maybe we are going to come. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so mm-hmm. up to day, up to day, guys. Mm-hmm. The the man, you know, the guy. Eh? Mm-hmm. Also, up to date, he loves me. Up to date, I can assure you. So you communicate. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> <Just go. laughs> you know, after that incident, <laughs> we used to call each other. Like, we, I, I block him, he block me, we'll block each other. Like, you know. But then when people block and I'm block and block, just know those people are in love. <laughs> <laughs> That's the game that people were in Yeah, love so we used to come to my place, you know, like. And he was like, you know, like. Oh, gosh. Oh, guys, <laughs> I don't, don't remember no. that. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. You know, let us go home. Yeah, sure. Like, so, so I moved on. The guy moved on because the other day, the last time I checked, mm-hmm. uh-huh. the last time I checked, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so she had posted someone, mm-hmm. you know. So I was like, okay, you know. So, and you also moved on. Yeah, yeah. Of, yeah I already moved That's on. the good thing about yeah, it. So, um, the other day, okay, the last time he, he, I texted him, to, he told me that I already know that he be like, how you were, you were before. Like, I was like, how? Mm-hmm. Me being your girlfriend, or you want us just to be friends? Mm-hmm. I don't know, I want us just to be friends. Like, Okay, okay. I don't, I don't have any grudge between him, but <laughs> yeah, it's it is so hard. Like you know, like you are ex to be, to be your friend. You know, in fact, to be close. You to know, be that close. Is, is, you can mess up in anything. Can, yeah, yeah. And then there is this thing. I don't know if it's yeah. You know Benjamin Zulu. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I love that man so much. Okay, there is this quote that is saying sometimes just God bring back to us ex to see if you're still cool to mm-hmm. see if you're still that a cool girl that she used to be mm-hmm. so okay you can be friend but not that close that ex to bestie uh, you be okay best. for me like uh we never like we never we never talked good to each other no mm-hmm. just it just says okay let us just 
everyone's move on on his own like you know yeah, yeah. We, we are grown up we should do like beat each other or maybe we talk with about each other yeah no, no. by the never talk bad things about your ex mm-hmm. once upon a time you mm-hmm. people because they, they were so supportive <laughs> very 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 supportive yeah, sure. like there's a, a time I was, uh, I was jobless and he was like he was sending money like crazy I never loved by the way I never loved If there's a person I'll come to miss is my ex. At if there's a person I'll come to miss is your ex, my ex. You need to get someone better than your ex. <laughs> Maybe are you dating? <laughs> Excuse me. Right now. You have said you moved or oh. Yes, I moved down. Yeah. Mhm. I will I I don't understand. I don't understand that statement. But mm-hmm. I think you'll get another person just better, better, better. Yeah, exactly. You know, we will not uh, look like uh, about the city of which tribe are you coming from? Yeah. You know, like. But even I think those things end long, long time ago. Long time ago. Yeah. Long time ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm dating. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So when is the wedding? Wedding actually next month. Right now we are out of comfort zone. Like mm-hmm. we are just pushing, pushing. Everyone is hustling here, hustling there. Mm-hmm. I think we are doing that for our kids, our mm-hmm. future kids to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, we have not planned about wedding, but obviously we'll be there. <laughs> uh, ah, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah, I think there's no okay. Maybe, maybe just say we have not planned about it. Mm-hmm. Like right now, I know we are, we have that same goal. You know, you understand exactly, <laughs> exactly, guys. And exactly. Then you people, you see marriage, you think it's up. It's like, hey, you go. Anyway, we'll come and tell the story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But marriage, we have, we have to be married. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but not now. So <laughs> kindly just leave a comment down below. Then us get to know which is the craziest thing. thing you ever did for love. Yeah. Which is the craziest thing. Because love is blind. Love is blind, guys. So how do you mean I dated a con man? I didn't you know. had to call with me. But I had to take a loan. <laughs> Give this thing. Hmm? Yeah, I don't have it. <laughs> hey, baby, I, you know what? I, 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 I just need this case right now, you know. Like, uh, the shop is going, and I have to book this thing today, eh? Yeah? The things are coming with a cab all the way from Dubai. Oh my God! <laughs> What? And then I think and other then, thing mm-hmm. that people should learn mm-hmm. while they're in love. Okay, your best friend could be struggling for you, money, money, money. But yeah, mm-hmm. try to find out where does he get money from? Because I've heard a lot of stories. People saying, "Oh, I was dating Conman. Oh, he mm-hmm. was in Illuminati." Cause you guys, yeah, you love that. No, like okay, <laughs> me guys, okay. By the way, mm-hmm. we never like we never dated for long. Like I think it is one week after he called me, maybe like after oh. he called me, and I was like, you know me, I'm called VCI, so I do investigate a lot. So if you're going to date me kindly, no, you're yeah, dealing with a bad girl. Cause I, I, I'm called VCI. <laughs> I do investigate. Yeah, I true. do my own investigations. Like we went like for one week, and I said no. Your instincts were just like yeah, they were saying something like something was not right. Something mm-hmm. was not right. Yeah. So, hey guys, hey, hey, huh? You don't want to talk about so, it. So, so the time I knew this guy, this guy is not a good guy. He came back and he was like, now this guy is not like the man is not enough. So why do you get married? And then like they changed shillings, changed shillings, and I was like, now you don't mean that you're going to focus on your business. The other day, you told me that I had you five thousand, five uh five thousand for that you can book a, a space, you know, those yeah. shop to rent in the in town. Mm-hmm. I am like, I am like, something is missing. So he wanted me to sell my Upa. Yes. Mm-hmm. So he wanted me to sell and first of that you can you can do that one and I was like no I'm not going to give you another man thank you. What? So from that day, 
we don't have any other crazy yes so but when you come we come and tell you yeah so yeah. i don't know if you'll join this video let us get to know just give us a big uh, thumbs up just yeah. make sure you share so and then guys also leave a comment because mm-hmm. i think you shall read every comment yeah exactly yeah and reply uh-huh. yeah just make sure you subscribe uh, let that, just turn on that notification so bell and uh, try to see when we post any or new videos you know mm-hmm. but that the best thing is to hit that notification bell mm-hmm. because you can get someone and subscribe but it's that if you upload the video mm-hmm. just hit that notification bell and also guys don't forget to <laughs> subscribe to his channel but the video channel is channel no it's just love and light love and light yeah so i will be leaving a link down below yeah make sure you go show some love just tell him <laughs> vivian can i send you okay. yeah by the mm-hmm. and we'll be doing many 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 stuff and go to come and come and come and come Coming. <laughs> so for now, what we saying? Goodbye. No,